Guess what we woke up to today? Do you see the snow out there? Why is there snow on the ground? Oh wow. I am disgusted. There's some in this house. There's some in this house. There's some roars 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 in this house. Hey friends, welcome back to another vloggy vlog. Hold on, let's zoom in a little bit. Let's appreciate my hair, it looks so good. But yes, hello, welcome back to another vloggy vlog. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Nyla and I make basically lifestyle content with a little bit of like beauty and fashion shit mixed in, you know, when I feel like it. But vlogs for me is really like, where is that? But yeah, welcome back. So today is Wednesday, it is 8.48 in the morning i did not start the vlog on sunday or monday just because i wasn't in the mood um and i was editing on sunday today i'm supposed to get a package from sephora i ordered some new skincare products i feel like i've been getting back into like my skincare bag and wanting to try different things and so i've been like buying stuff from good molecules buying a few different things from sephora every time i go and so like i've just been trying to get back into my bag but also i'm trying to clear my skin up i want to try out skin cycling a uh, skincare cycling i'll put like a image on the screen of like what that is um it's all the rage right now on tiktok it's popularized by this, I don't know, she's a dermatologist, esthetician, I think it's Dr. Bowie or something like that. I will have her Instagram linked in the description or on the screen because she's who popularized it. But essentially, it's using retinols and chemical exfoliants in your routine, but cycling them so that like your skin doesn't get irritated, essentially. So like one day you would use your chemical exfoliant at nighttime, then the night after you would use your retinol and then the next two days at nighttime you don't use the chemical exfoliant or the retinol you just focus on like making sure your moisture barrier is okay and like really moisturizing and hydrating your skin and then you go back and introduce the retinol i mean the chemical exfoliant one night then the retinol the other night and then two more days of of moisturizing and then eventually you can kind of like up the amount of times you use your chemical exfoliant and retinol throughout the week which in my opinion and from what i've read should not be more than two to three times a week but yeah plan for today because i've been rambling for a little minute um i'm gonna make some breakfast in a little while after i take uh, my meds and my vitamins i have some projects for work that i need to work on and prep for my meetings that i have tomorrow and then i also need to plan whether i do it later on tonight or before saturday i need to plan out content for this weekend y'all seem to really enjoy that productive week in my like vlog life vlog because it got more views than my vlogs typically get in like the time span that it got those views it's inching close to 300 views as i'm recording this so y'all seem to like that um type of vlog which is very interesting i thought it would do well and i really enjoyed filming that vlog but yeah so i figured we do something a little similar because i got some work shit that i need to do but also i need to plan out content and then this weekend i want to shoot content especially because i have a three day weekend monday is indigenous people's day we don't call that shit columbus day over here indigenous people's day fuck that white man but yes so i don't have work that day so my plan is I have Pilates. I'm going to Pilates later today, but I also go on Friday. When I come from Pilates on Friday, I'm gonna wash my hair because I'm trying to get back to, you know, washing it on a weekly basis. My scalp has really been in check. Love that for me. Um, but I'm gonna wash my hair Friday when I get out of Pilates. And on Saturday, I want to go take pictures um, I have an outfit in mind and I already talked to my friend Vanessa and she's going to take some pictures for me um, and then we're probably going to go eat afterwards but on Saturday I want to take pictures. My plan was to also film an in-depth Skims bra haul on Saturday too but I think I'm going to do that on Sunday and most likely by the time you're watching this that haul might already be up. Um, we'll see but I think I'm going to film that on Sunday 
And then Monday, I will start like editing for that. I also want to use some of that footage from the haul or I'll just do a separate little video for on my phone for reels um, slash TikTok. I kind of want to do a mini skims haul for reels in TikTok as well. But we will see. But anyways, I need to plan that content out and also make sure the idea I have inspo for it. Um, but I, and I have the items in my closet. I just need to make sure it's going to come together. So I have to try everything on to see if it's going to work for real. But yeah, that is kind of the plan for really the rest of the week. Just work, plan content, shoot content, hang out with Vanessa, edit content. And that is really it. But I've been rambling for almost nine minutes now. We know we love to talk over here. And then I have to go back and cut shit out. That's unnecessary. Like, these niggas don't care about that. Like, take the shit out. But yeah, I'm gonna go make my little breakfast now. I don't know what I want to eat yet. Yeah, I might do a little montage of my breakfast. We'll see how I'm feeling. But enough rambling. She's so persuasive, that man will fun. She's so flirtatious. How does it feel to be so persuasive? That man with one. She's so flirtatious. How Keep does it, it feel to be? Feel like the feeling of a super. Feel like I feel like I got no press. Feel like I feel like I need it. Rest. Well, it's the season I should let go And that's the reason I'm a bummer Well, it's the season I should fly So low I'm so sedated And she's so persuasive This insulation So sweet you could taste it It's in the morning Moonlight, I'll be young And it's three in the morning And I'm still performing She's so persuasive How does it feel to be so persuasive? I'm never fun. She's so flirtatious. How does it feel to be alive? Let me break it down till it feel right. How does it feel? I'm so aligned and so yeah, I'm so can't get a vibe. I wait me too many to get a light. I ain't getting control, it's the flu It's a key help in this stuff And I'm all wondering oh, How do I feel? I be the boss that paid the price Get up off my balls on Saturday nights Get up off that wall and change your life Take you to bed Hey y'all, taking a little breaky break from work. Not that I've done a ton today. We've been somewhat productive, but not as productive as I would like to be. It's also a little cloudy outside and I just feel like, I just don't feel like my best self in terms of being productive, but it's fine sometimes we have those days but i just came from downstairs from getting my package from sephora so here's my package we're gonna do an unboxing all right so i got the fenty skin hydra visor refill this is the moisturizer slash spf it's a two-in-one product that i use in the morning it's like my holy grail reason i like this which i've stated before is i am lazy and i will not put on sunscreen i know i need it it's just i don't like to have an extra step in my routine and that is the step that i would always skip but ever since i started using this especially because it also functions as a moisturizer um i never forget to put sunscreen on anymore and during the summer i do reapply it um if i know i'm gonna be out like in the sun a bit more so there's that then we got the belief true cream aqua bomb another 
holy grail of mine. I use this at nighttime, however, you can use it morning and night, but since I use the Hydrovisor in the morning, I use this one at night. I just ran out this morning. I literally used like the last bit that I could scrape up with my finger of the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is the original one. Um, so we re-upped on her. I still have some of my Good Molecules Niacinamide um, brightening toner and I do like that toner. I like the way it makes my skin feel in terms of it being hydrated, but do I feel like it's necessarily like darkening my, I mean lightening my dark spots or making my face brighter? Not necessarily. So I decided to try this new product also from Laneige. It's called the Radiant C Brightening Treatment Essence. Um, brighten, even tone, and soften. Um, it has vitamin C, um, super berry complex, which has antioxidants. And yeah, this is good for all skin types, including sensitive skin. It's supposed to make your skin glow, but also like brighten it, reduce dark spots, i.e. hyperpigmentation. And this has very good reviews um, on Sephora. So I thought that I would pick that up. And the packaging is so cute. I love Laneige's packaging in general. But this one is so cute. You can use this, I believe, morning and nighttime. Yep, it says morning and evening after cleansing. So this is what the bottle looks like. Picked this up to use or to retry again. And this is what the packaging for this looks like. I'll make sure to link um, all the products below. So the last thing that I got is the Trunk Elephant A Glow uh, Maritinol Oil. It's 0.5% retinol and then it has ceramides because um, this retinol is mixed with marula oil. Drunk Elephant sells just marula oil as a face oil, but then this retinol is like that and a retinol combined. All right, I'm gonna go back to working for a little while and then like around 3.45, so in like an hour, I will start getting ready because I'm going to my Pilates class today. Hey y'all, happy Thursday. It's 8.47 in the morning. I just made some tea in my cup that says, love ya, mean it. Sherb got me one, and I think she got Donna the same one um, earlier this year for Valentine's Day. So almost every time I have tea, I make it in this cup, or if this cup is dirty, then I make it in my other cup from Target that has an N on it for Nyla, obviously. Um, yeah, but most of the times I make it in this cup. It's a little hot right now, so I can't drink it. But I wanted to come on camera real quick to show y'all that I have been planning. This planner was probably the best, like what, I spent like $10, $12 that I spent um, on this digital planner, but I did start planning my try on haul that I want to do for the skims bras that I bought which I featured in the last vlog but I didn't go like in depth and try them on and stuff because I wanted to save that for a dedicated video and then I also started planning out a little bit my photo shoot that I want to do for Instagram so this is what it looks like for the skims bra try on haul and review I have this page that I have to fill out just with more specifics on like the item names, um, the colors of the bras, the price points, making sure I write down anything I don't want to forget to say. And then this is what I got for my photo shoot for Instagram. Um, but that is what I have so far in terms of planning these two projects that I want to work on. I'm gonna 
drink my tea, turn on my podcast, and I'm going to make something to eat before I get to work. And then I will check in with y'all probably later tonight. Hey y'all, long time no see. I don't remember the last day that I talked to you guys, but it is Tuesday. It is oh, 11.50, no bitch. It is 1.50, I just got off a meeting. So I haven't talked to y'all in a few days because I really don't remember the last day I talked to y'all and I had, I've had i already started editing this vlog, so I don't know what the last thing I included was. But on Friday, I went and got my booster and my flu shot in the morning. It went fine. I went to Pilates that afternoon. Before I went to Pilates, I started getting a headache, but I was like, maybe it's because I didn't eat enough or something, even though I didn't feel hungry. And so obviously when I came back from Pilates, I took a shower and everything and I ate and I still had a little bit, actually not a little bit, I had a really bad headache and I had to take Tylenol and stuff. And I remember the um, pharmacist telling me that I would probably get a headache because of the booster shot. Um, and so if that happens to take Tylenol and also just drink a lot of water and stuff. And so my arms were sore, but I had a headache Friday and I had one Saturday. I felt a lot better like on Sunday. It wasn't as bad, but yeah, I just was not in the mood like on the weekend because I didn't like really feel well because of the booster. Still go get one because I don't care what the CDC says or anybody else says, COVID is very much still alive and well, so go protect yourselves. But this coming from your uh, public health bestie. So go get vaccinated and boosted the fuck up. Anyways, so because I had a headache and I wasn't feeling well and I basically was in bed most of the day on Saturday and part of the day on Sunday, I didn't end up washing my hair until Sunday morning. Um, and then I like blow dried and stuff and relaxed for the rest of the day. And then I went grocery shopping, I cooked, and I had Vanessa and Skylar over for dinner. I made some mac and cheese and wings and broccoli and that shit slapped. I put my foot in that macaroni and cheese. I didn't feel like filming it because I just like was not in the mood to record, but the next time that I make it, I will make sure to include it in a vlog. But that's what I did Sunday. Um, and then Monday I had off cause it was Indigenous Peoples Day. What did I do yesterday? What did I do yesterday? Oh, I had to run a few errands and then I went over to Vanessa's to do her hair and then we had wine and charcuterie. She made a charcuterie board um, and it was so cute. I'll put a picture on the screen. But yeah, that's all I did, which means also I did not film my Skims haul this weekend or go take any pictures because I was, yeah, not feeling well. So I need to do that this weekend. I'm a little happy that I didn't get to take pictures. First of all, I need to see, hold on. Before we do that, I need to see what the weather is this weekend because if it's going to rain, I can't take pictures. Okay, the weather will be decent. I like the outfit that I was going to take pictures in, but then I ended up ordering like two bodysuits from Kaku or Kuku, Kaku. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I think it is a UK based brand. And I heard about it from Kayla Cake. This past week was like when I actually ordered. Um, two of the bodysuits and it came yesterday. I just didn't open the package Because um, I just picked it up today when I came back from the office So we're gonna do an unboxing or not an unboxing because it's not in a box But an unboxing and a little try on haul um, To see how I like the bodysuits and if they fit I'll make sure to link them down below some of them started to sell out after I ordered and I think it's because a lot of people saw her Instagram story about it but let me stop rambling let me try on these bodysuits so I can show them to y'all real quick I'll try them on with some jeans maybe just so y'all can see how they look un momento before I try them on let me show y'all what the packaging looks like so this is the purple one and this is the green one I think I might want to order the pink one and like an orange one, but when they come back with that gray in my size, I will be ordering. I hope this fits, but this is what it looks like. This is gonna look fire. I ordered it in a large. This is the green one. 
So this is the green one. Oh, it's gonna look fire up against my skin. All right, y'all, this is the green bodysuit. I'm not putting the purple one on because this shit is compressive and this was a bitch to get on because I was trying to put it on without unsnapping the thing because that's where the little protective seal is and you cannot return it if that is gone or like the tag is gone. So I was like, we're just gonna put it on like this. But this is how the purple one would fit, but just obviously the color is different we might take a picture in that one but this is how it looks it's so cute i actually love it with these abercrombie jeans and like with some heels and like the right bag this actually would be fire i love this so so much let's make you straight let's bring you down a little bit but I think she is so cute. And then obviously I have the purple one. Oh, and I don't have a bra on. It does hold your boobs in really, really well. I could put pasties on so that you don't see my nipples, but I personally don't care if my nipples wanna say hi. I think a lot of y'all care too much about your nipple showing. I don't really give a fuck, so there we go. The only time I make sure they're not showing is if I'm going to work. Other than that, don't particularly give a shit. Let me take this off now though. Um, and I am gonna get back to work cause I got a lot of shit to do. So I will talk to you beautiful people probably later on tonight or I'll talk to y'all maybe tomorrow morning. We'll see. Hey y'all, happy Thursday. It is 3.32 in the afternoon. I think I'm kind of done with work for the day because I've been like nonstop since yesterday. So I think I'm going to take the rest of the day off. I'm leaving. I need to get dressed like literally soon because I'm going to Pilates today. When I spoke to y'all yesterday, I told you that I didn't record my Sam's video last weekend because I wasn't feeling one that I was going to record this week. Well, unless my skin... I want y'all to look at my forehead. I don't know if you can fully see. Yeah, you can. It's broken out. I have a rash. Um, and I don't want to put makeup on my skin while I have a rash and my skin is healing. But something I used on it irritated it. And so I'm not feeling the prettiest. I mean, I'm on the vlog, but like, I just don't. I cannot record, I mean, I can record the video, but I don't want to because you're gonna see the bumps like on my skin, like in that video, like a lot. Um, and the makeup is not gonna conceal it. So it's looking like I might have to postpone that video and my photo shoot. I feel like this vlog is very all over the place. But anyways, let me stop rambling cause 3.33, sorry, 3.35 my oven and microwave are behind my phone for whatever reason. So I need to get dressed because I need to go get ready to go to Pilates soon. But I will talk to y'all later. Hey y'all, this vlog is like literally all over the place, but today is Friday. It is almost nine o'clock in the morning. Guess what we woke up to today in Minneapolis and probably other parts of Minnesota, but, oh, hold on, gotta change my battery. Okay. As I was saying, guess what we fucking woke up to today? I mean, I'm not super angry or anything. I'm just, I think, a little in disbelief because like this obviously does not happen in North Carolina. We're having like snow flurry slash snow right now. It is October, what is today's date? It's October 14th. It's fall. Why is it snowing right now? That is the park. Do you see the snow out there? Why is there snow on the ground? Why is there snow on the ground in October? And it's like 34 degrees outside. It actually wasn't, well, it didn't feel super cold, probably because I had my Aritzia super puff on, but like, bro. But anyways, that's all I wanted to get on camera to tell you guys. I, why does the lighting look like that? I um am about to make some breakfast real quick because I have a meeting at 9.30, so I need to, be quick, but yeah, I will talk to y'all later. Oh, my skin, I can't really tell there. There we go. My skin is finally fucking clearing up and that I love for myself. But yeah, I'm gonna go make breakfast now.
Hey y'all, happy Saturday. I'm looking a little crusty. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. It is October 15th, y'all. Let's take a moment and appreciate how glowy my skin looks right now. So I just did like at home dermaplaning. My skin has been clearing up. These are acne marks, but my rash on my forehead is clearing up. I also think what is helping my skin to be glowy is, I'll bring it over here. So I went to Ulta last Sunday. Yeah, I went to Ulta last Sunday because um, I my skin was irritated and I needed to get something to see if it would help my skin feel less irritated, help with the redness, et cetera, et cetera. I actually think that product ended up breaking my face out, which is why I ended up getting a whole like rash on my forehead. The rest of my face had a little bit of breakouts, but like from here up was like really, really bad. But it's gone for the most part. It still has a little bit more healing to do. But anyways, while I was there, I picked up some of this snail mucin from Cos RX, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a Korean skincare brand, a K-beauty brand. Um, this is what the packaging looks like. And it's 96% snail secretion filtrate, i.e. mucin. It's an essence and it helps the skin to be like moisturized and hydrated. And it helps your following products, essences in general do this, but it helps your following products like penetrate the skin and like really do what it's supposed to do um but this has really helped with hydrating my skin and making it more brighter making it feel hydrated and moisturized especially as you know it's recovering right now my moisture barrier is recovering and then obviously like well some sunscreen is mattifying but the fenty beauty one that i use um which is my daytime also uh my it's also my daytime moisturizer because it's a moisturizer and spf together and for me i think my skin prefers when i use this like as a moisturizer and spf instead of like using like moisturizer and then putting this on top i don't feel like my skin likes that um so it's either i'm gonna skip using moisturize uh using spf and i'm gonna use my regular moisturizer or i'm gonna use my moisturizer and spf in one but like mixing the two my skin doesn't seem to really like that but this keeps my face pretty moisturized throughout the day and then i know if i'm gonna be out in the sun more than obviously I reapply this, but this makes my skin very glowy as well. This also has niacinamide and hyaluronic acid in it. But yeah, so I'm very pleased with how my skin is looking. But anyways, I've been doing a lot of rambling in this vlog, but today I am just gonna chill out. Yesterday it snowed, which I showed y'all. Um, it actually snowed a few times yesterday morning and then it like rained um, and then it was just cold and it just was, yeah, the weather was not it. I didn't go to Pilates yesterday because the weather was not it. So I just accepted the fact that I was probably gonna have to pay the late cancellation fee. I think it's like $25. I was like, I quite literally don't care. Like it was just so cold, the weather was not it. Um, I was supposed to go to dinner with some friends yesterday, but because of the weather, we decided not to go. Today is supposed to be nicer. It's not supposed to rain or anything, and the temperature is a little bit higher outside today than it was yesterday. So I think we're going to go to um, eat later on for dinner. In the meantime, like in the daytime, I'm just going to chill. I think I'm going to start doing laundry so I don't have to do all of it tomorrow. And I also need to go to Ulta to replace, not to replace, to return um, the items that I bought that actually ended up breaking my skin out. I'm glad I saved the receipts and the packaging and stuff. And then while I'm there, we are going to re-up on my Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightening Toner because I only have like, I don't know if you can see, but I only have this much left. So I need to re-up on that since I know that they sell Good Molecules at Ulta now. So I'm gonna go there and get it. Um, and it looks like they have it at my 
location. Enough of my rambling. I'm going to go make something to eat now for breakfast. And then I'm going to start doing laundry and then I'm going to chill out. And I'll probably talk to y'all when I am on my way to Ulta to make those returns. Um, and if I don't talk to y'all then, I will talk to y'all like tonight um, if we still go to dinner. But yeah. All right, y'all. We are in the car and we are on... Oh, I thought I had a pimple. Just a shadow. We are on our way to Ulta so that I can return the two products and then also just pick up the uh, good molecules niacinamide toner um, while I'm there if they have it hopefully they have it when I am there but yeah I will see y'all at Ulta all right guys I am back from Ulta was a very uh, a very quick trip y'all saw that i picked up the the molecules nice into my brightening toner i need to make sure i didn't accidentally crack the bottle because when i was coming upstairs i accidentally hit it on the door okay it's not cracked because their packaging for most of their products is glass Woo! okay not cracked um, but yes, got that, picked that up. We are back home now. I'm finna make something to eat for lunch. My skin is looking so much better, bro. I'm so happy. I think I just want a sandwich and some fruit or something. And then I didn't put a batch of laundry before I left, so I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna continue editing this vlog and I'm gonna chill out until I go to dinner later. Um, we're not having a content weekend this weekend because I still need my skin to clear up before I put any makeup on it to film my sit down a video and i'm still trying out the skims bras like i said i've tried all of them on i tried all of them on when my package came but i'm now wearing the third bra out of the four that i got and so i want to actually like wear them throughout the day and under different things so i can give y'all like an accurate opinion but so far love everything um so i'm probably going to film that next saturday um, and then also take pictures next Saturday or Sunday because my skin should be better by then. Like I said, I can then put makeup on and everything and I should be good to go. The weather's also going to be a little warmer, so a uh, better time to take pictures. So what was supposed to be like a productive week in my life slash content type of vlog like my previous uh productivity vlog that is not this it's just been all over the place because yeah things happened so i will stop rambling and i'm gonna talk to you guys later Super